Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're out here on Lake Huron today. It's a beautiful day, and we're going to fly off. on this freighter the out here. So, uh, I've checked Please cover. Check it on the map. I'm clear to fly. I'm going to take it up. And I'm going to start capturing video. Get my screen recorder out of the way. All right, so I've got video. I'm going to start taking it up and out. Man, it's a beautiful day out here. And, uh, man, it's just a beautiful day. Look at the views of that ship. And we're capturing it as we're heading out. Look at those clouds and the beautiful water. And just as the scenery is, it's panning down. And there's a small boat passing it. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to yaw to kind of keep up with it. And uh, it's just uh, headed down lake. And again, I'm just trying to yaw to keep up with it. We'll give it a little bit of head start there. The uh, Echo Lake, something like that. Wow, we, we've got this really set in the frame. And uh, boy, we got that really framed up nice. And uh, I'm going to try taking this up a little bit more. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, 62 feet. I thought that's having a hard time seeing with my glasses. I thought I was reading 625 feet, and I'm going like I'm not up 625 feet. Uh, let's. I do want to get it up there around a um, hundred feet or so as I pan it down Lake, and so I can kind of capture some views of it. So I'm going to let it sit in right about there, and let it pan down Lake. Boy, that is one awesome sight as it just kind of cruises down like I think we got another freighter coming coming yet so uh, we'll set that one up and uh, she's just cruising down it's a self unloading ore carrier Algoma Central I think it says on its unloading boom and uh, we had another camera. I was just recording, actually, some uh, other footage with it on a tripod-based camera. I just went and collected it past it. So, again, we're just kind of watching it scroll down. Sorry about a little wind noise. I'm having to walk a little bit into the wind. So, uh, kind of turned back a little bit out of the wind. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to set it right here and just kind of watch it slide underneath the Blue Water Bridge on this sunny October day. Uh, I tell you what, we're hitting pretty close to mid-October. It's 72 degrees on Lake Huron. The wind is just beautiful. I really can't complain. So uh, anytime I get to spend some time here out on Lake Flying, it's just a good day. And it really does look like we got another one coming down, so we'll be able to get another episode um, with definitely a downbound ship and, you know, get some video footage of that as we watch this thing glide on past the Blue Water Bridge. And again, just amazing views of it, of, of it just sliding down the water as these guys ply the, the uh, just beautiful blue water of Lake Huron. So I tell you what, I never get tired of seeing these guys. It just amazes me. You know, I know displacement, buoyancy, and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, as, as sort of it amazes you how an airplane flies because of the Bernoulli principle. 
you know the principle of buoyancy is these things ply the Great Lakes are just amazing these are just the uh, super large inland waterways as a kid uh, you know we did a lot of boating on these uh, waters and they go forever it's basically like an inland sea up here around Michigan so uh, you really can't beat it for summertime now the winter time eh, I could probably trade that but summertime in Michigan is really a good time and fall is one of my favorites and especially the beautiful weather we've been having this fall I mean I just can't complain so again it's just simply sliding down beneath the blue water bridge so which is really really cool so uh, one of the things I'm also setting up is another site um, you guys may be interested if you're interested in boats and things like that so it's going to be bluewaterfreighters.com again I'll have a link below bluewaterfreighters.com um, it's going to come online probably in about November-ish and so I'm going to house a lot of my ship footage out there also um, so again you know most of the, the footage well basically all the footage out there won't have any audio to just have you know music and uh, I'll do time lapses and hyper lapses of ships and uh, put it out there for those folks who really aren't interested in the droning thing but want to watch the big boats ply the waters of Lake Huron so I'll have that site set up also I'm going to be launching another site called on photography on photography dot pictures so it's actually on dash photography uh, dot pictures and uh, that's going to be my photography site because I've been doing fine art photography now for Oh, geez, oh, Pete's probably the majority of my life. I'm going to be 55 here in a couple days. And so at least 40 years um, or a little bit more maybe uh, that I've been doing fine art photography. I started really young in the photo club of high school and, you know, just kind of something I've kept throughout my life. It's uh, actually a semi-hobby business. It's never been, uh, you know, a, a career for me, uh, but it's been, you know, more of a passion. And you know, I just really love taking pictures. Started out in the dark room. And what's this complaining about? Oh, large wind velocity. So I've been getting that quite a bit as we've been heading into fall, is the large wind velocity. Uh, here on the ground, it really doesn't seem to be too bad. So, uh, anyways, we got the ship uh, heading well down past the Blue Water Bridge right now. It still seems to be holding pretty steady, so I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. And the, the battery life is still pretty super. Um, so that's going along pretty good. So again, I, I can take about two more minutes of flight time on the Spark. I think that would really make it optimal. Uh, I'm not going to complain with the flight time I'm getting now. Um, you know, it's, it's better, you know, it's better than, hey, five minutes. You know, getting eight to roughly ten minutes of flight time is pretty good, so... Uh, again, I'm not going to complain too much. But DJI, if you listen in two more minutes, make this a killer drone. Um, also, you know, it'd be kind of cool uh, to have a 4K camera on it, too. It'd make RJ make happy. Uh, but, you know, jumping up there. Because one of the things I'm kicking around is uh, actually um, also getting a Mavic. So the Phantom 3 is getting a little long in the tooth, and it's getting to be a little bit of a headache. Uh, I've got the 2.7K camera on that guy. And uh, it does a pretty good job. I like 2.7K. And, you know, that's really, to me, a nice medium between, you know, 1080p and 4K. Uh, because to me, 4K, the big advantage of that is more so being able to edit the footage. Because here you can really crop down on a, on a uh, 4K image to get a 10, 1080p result. Or even a 2.7K result, for that matter. Uh, with a lot of quality where you just can't do that with 1080p because with 1080p you pretty much have what you have so and if you do kind of crop down on that um, and render at 1080p it's going to become pretty pixelated so anyways i'm pretty much coming down here to low battery so low battery warning oh i'm not going to land the aircraft there why do i always do that that's kind of dumb that they have that there so return to home and land you know, especially if you don't have your glasses on. So and I'm going to bring this guy back home and bring it back down. And then we're going to switch out the battery. We've got another ship coming. So we're going to take advantage of that for another episode. And uh, so low battery aircraft returning home. So it's telling me the feet. And uh, wow, the guy came home pretty quick. I'm 
surprised. It's over my head. I don't know if you can hear it. The wind's picking up a little bit right now. So uh, she's coming down right around in here, right where I'm about where I'm standing. So Landing. I need to walk over a little bit. And what's this? Oh, it's ex exiting virtual visual mode to land. So anyways, we're bringing her down. And I want to make sure I save out the video footage. So we got that saved. Coming down. Now that's interesting. I don't have the hat cam on right now because I had to get out here quick to catch that chip. But it just made a major shift back to its home position from where it was coming down at. So uh, we're going to set it down. And hey, we're down on the ground. It's landed. Another good flight on Lake Huron. I can't complain. So I tell you what, guys, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Hit me up in the comments below if you got questions. I tell you, holidays are coming up. If you don't have a spark and you're thinking about getting one, don't think about it. Get it. I tell you what, this is the number one quad you've gone through and seen on my channel. I've had a ton of quads. This is number one in my book for the money. So anyways, big thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button over there. Comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.